on the upper jaw for the bull, there's a little bit of overlap, but they're very broad and triangular and they have heavy serrations, so they're excellent cutting teeth. If we look at the bottom jaw of the bull, they're more slender, narrower, and have finer serrations. So these teeth are typically using for holding and punching their prey with the upper jaw using to cut the flesh from their prey. And this is a really good kind of tooth structure for those ambush predator um, that they've got in that hunting technique that they've yeah, got. Absolutely. So they believe that bull sharks will bump and bite and also are ambush predators. Bull sharks, along with great whites and tigers, are part of a group called the Big Three, since they're implicated in the majority of attacks on humans. These two are very similar. That one is very different. Yeah, so right up here we have a tiger shark, really different between looking at the white shark and the bull shark. They have really curved shaped teeth, but they're like can openers mm. and they can cut through the carapace of turtles. And this reflects their really diversified diet. All of these different sizes, but very powerful tool Absolutely. right here. And especially with different serrations. I mean, it just goes to show you how each of them hunt very differently, but how all of the different tooth shapes are really effective at what they do best, which is cutting through the flesh, the bone, the blubber of their intended prey. So of course, this sort of tooth, regardless of which one you get bit by, could do a lot of damage to someone, say as us, where we don't have the protection of blubber. Absolutely, yes. So these are the top three species that are involved with shark bites around the world. And you can see why, I mean, with that kind of tooth structure and how big they can get as well.